and quite wants the answer is it's why they're not in school. This is the joke. Right. I've been doing right. this for years, Your Honor. Every single year, I provide the school record. Every single year. So you're telling me to do exactly what you told me last year, which was the thing that you exactly told me the year before, which is the exact thing that you told me the year before. You've told me this every single year. Every single year, you've told me this. I've been bringing this to you every single year. He had moved a man into the basement with my 12-year-old daughter, lied to me about it, lied to the courts about it, wouldn't let CPS in. It's so sickening because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Your Honor. Uh, for the record, this matter is before the court to, to review any outstanding issues, including but not limited to both parties. Monthly parenting time complaints. This hearing is being conducted via Zoom. Uh, Aaron Atkinson, the plaintiff is present. Is Samantha Sewell present on audio? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Now, since we're last in court, Ms. Pratt has conducted a custody parenting time uh, investigation, which included an interview of all three of your children. Ms. Lepratt has made a recommendation. Have both of you received a copy of Ms. Lepratt's recommendation? Yes, Your I Honor. Have. Okay. And the two of you have conferred with <clears throat> Ms. Brower this morning. And the court would note, uh, Ms. Brower, maybe I'm a mistake, but there appears to be an outstanding motion, um, a motion filed by defendant mother to modify custody. Uh, I don't know if that needs to be addressed in this recommendation, but in any event, the recommendation, Mr. X, and there's Ms. Sewell, good morning. The recommendation morning. is that the front of the court recommendation, Mr. Pratt, dated August 13th, 2024, be adopted. Specifically, mother's printing time with Cadence and Isabel shall be every other weekend, Friday at 4.30 to Monday to school during the school year during the summers, week on, week off, with the exchange that Sundays at 6 o'clock. Mother's printing time with London shall be reasonable and liberal. Further, that the outstanding parenting time complaints filed with the front of the court through July 8th uh, be dismissed. Uh, it's also known that both parties have provided the court with essays, what they have learned from the High Conflict Solutions Workshop. Uh, the court appreciates both of you taking, taking that uh, program. Uh, hopefully, it was beneficial. I, I, I'm not, uh, the court does not order the completion of that class if it's a waste of time. So, I, I hope that there was some value in that class for both of you to make life easier for each of you. All right, so uh, Ms. Sewell, do you understand the recommendation? I do understand it. I understand okay. what's wrote. I don't understand how we got here. Okay, so you disagree with the recommendation? Absolutely. Uh, how we got there is we have an independent uh, uh, experience front of the court uh, facilitator. I don't, I personally feel like she's interviewed your children. So your children are 16, 14, 13. This is not like a, a six year old. So much more weight to be given on the the uh, thoughts and input of the children. I can guarantee you that, Ms. Sewell. So maybe you should uh, in, ask yourself these questions because obviously this is what the children want. The children would always choose ice cream over broccoli. And that's what's happening right here. I choose, I serve my children broccoli. He choose, chooses to serve them ice cream. Children will always choose ice cream over broccoli. There are serious concerns within this case that have not been addressed. And unfortunately, it's it's so sickening and and disturbing this case that the the outcome of this recommendation is me dropping out. I don't wish to continue this anymore. My children have been failing educationally for years. And he's the one in charge of getting them to school, taking them to school. He's been charged with truancy charges. My son um, has dropped out of school. My children are depressed, on medication, and all absence of their mother. But yes, continue the same path for them. Everybody agreed that something different needed to be done. And choosing the same sickening and despair life for them was is enough for me to decide that continue on and do that my son is 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 now dropped out of school there's no changing that my daughter had a 1.3 grade average last year 
there I have went to court every single year fighting to know knowledge about my kids, fighting to be present for my kids, fighting for my kids to attend birthday parties, fighting for my kids to attend funerals. I've had to go to court to know my kids' education, to know their therapist. I've had to go to court to, to have you tell him that he had to keep them in school so he wouldn't take them out for acting classes. I've had to go to court for all these things and nothing has been done. So now my children, 13, 15, and 16 years old are on medication, failing classes, depressed, sexual activity, uh, talking to men online, um, absolute disgust, all, and he won't do anything about it. I'm not allowed to be present. I'm pushed out of the way. So of course the kids want to choose whether they're not parented, not governed, and there he's feeding them ice cream over broccoli. Absolutely, 100%. I agree with them. However, I don't choose to be a part of it anymore. I choose to not have the police called on me when I take away my son's Xbox. I choose to not have CPS called on me when I'm trying to get help for my daughter's problems. I choose to not have false police reports called on me about stalking my ex. I, I'm i choosing, if you guys don't choose better for my kids, I'm choosing to step aside. Flat out. I have two other children to parent and raise and worry about. That's how I feel. It's a miss, this miss man, role. hold on. There's another one thing. I started this. I, I started all these parenting time complaints. And up until this point, because he was allowing the kids to move freely between homes, it was working out fantastically great until he tried to strong arm me into oh, paying him some money. Hold on one second. He had moved a man into the basement with my 12 year old daughter lied to me about it, lied to the courts about it, wouldn't let CPS in. And my daughter is expressing sexual habits and behaviors and nobody will investigate it and nobody hears me. Would you be comfortable with your daughter expressing sexual pornography and doing things online, knowing that there is a man living down in the basement and she's telling people that she's dating a 40 year old man? Would you feel while well, you would you feel comfortable with that? This this is who I'm leaving my children with. First of all, Miss Sewell, have you reviewed uh, the? I think Mr. Axon uh, filed with the in the court file. There's a University of Michigan psychiatric emergency department reports. I have, I have, and okay. can I, I mean, can I explain dated, something to you? Stated uh, June six, where your daughter was taken to the hospital. She claims yep. that she's there's ongoing. Uh, this is her words. Yes. Can I explain something to you? Mother. Yes. Can I explain something to you? So I just want to make sure this, that you, no, you don't need want to make sure you saw these. I did. So I did. Absolutely. And it made me ball. It's so sickening because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, your honor. Mr. Ackerson, I was explaining my concerns of what I was finding on her phone and explaining what I have known my son to do and explaining what we had just came across. The referee wanted to say that the kids were not allowed around each other and was concerned about incest relationships because what I was finding on Isabel's phone while she was in Mr. Ackerson's home. So I explained this to the court. The referee was like, whoa, something's going on. You know, the kids aren't allowed around each other. Mr. Ackerson went home and told Issa and London that I was accusing them of having an ancestral relationship and blamed the entire thing on me. So she absolutely was so mad at me. And I think I provided text messages to the court where she was saying, my mom's so weird. She thinks I'm having sex with my brother and she thinks I'm having sex with my, my room, my dad's roommate. But these are the things that I'm finding on her phone and I'm providing them to the court. I'm not having conversations with my daughter about what I'm thinking. I'm leaving it to the, I'm leaving, I'm having conversations with Aaron Atkinson, trying to get to the bottom of it. And then he's going and telling the exact, he is showing her, even these classes, he is showing them the paperwork and get, putting it in their faces, absolutely causing problems. I've came to the courts 
every single year about things that I, I'm, I'm bad mouth. I'm talked about. Of course, the kids view me like this. This is 100% parental alienation. And the courts have enabled the abuse of me, the control of me. And I'm done. I'm. If you guys cannot see that, why would I be fighting for my kids to abuse them? All I want for them to do is do better in school. Hold him accountable to that court order. It's a court order for a reason. You're not allowed to badmouth me every chance you get. My kids don't need to grow up in a toxic environment of like that. I love them so much and only want the best for them. So yeah, they hate me for making them clean their rooms. They hate me for making the grounding them, taking away their cell phone. I took away my daughter's cell phone because of the things that she was posting on TikTok and the boys that she was talking to. He turned around and bought her a new phone. After, after, after all this, I can't, I have, there's no there's no disciplining the kids. There's no wanting better for them. I am merely nothing more than a babysitter. So I choose to not do it. I'm, I can't. I cannot live and I cannot be exposed due to the police knocking on my door again, to the CPS, to the false CPS call. I've been dealing with this for far too long, far too, far too long. And this is exactly what he wanted. So congratulations, Aaron. You've won. Congratulations. This is absolutely what you've wanted. I hope you're happy with the results. To be honest with you, I feel so bad for my kids, but I feel so bad for my kids' future that they have to live like this. 100%. His, the, the kid's therapist is his therapist. Can you imagine what my kids would say if my kids attended my therapist and all they listened to is negative lies that I said about my ex? the paid actor, the one that literally gets paid to make people believe his story. Ms. Sewell, the children need their mother. So I uh, hope you keep yeah, an open mind. Yeah, and they also they need, need a happy mother. mother and one mother that's not being constantly controlled and abused and enabled by the court system to continue the abuse. I cannot handle it anymore. I have hit a peak. I've hit a moment. I cannot, I, ca I cannot, I cannot. The summer goes so perfect and so well and it's so harmonious. And we, when the kids were moving freely from home to home, it was so good. It was so happy in that time. It was so good. But money is a root of all evil. So I'm sorry I didn't have the money at the time. All right, take a deep breath, Ms. Sewell. Um, First of all, uh, Mr. Um, you make sure you're, you're listed. You should be involved in school activities, one parent teach conferences. Make sure that you're listed as a contact at school. Absolutely, you're the parent. I um, have had to go to court so the, and the fight court's for going every to... single thing of that, and I do. I attend everything that I am aware of that I can. I attend everything. I do everything that I'm supposed to. I show up to therapy. I do everything that I'm supposed to do everything and more. I adopted my life in 2020 as if he was standing right next to me. And you can ask any about that. I said, I will live my life as if Aaron Atkinson is standing next to me because that's how it feels. Every move I make, I have to make sure that he's okay with it, how he can spin it and how he can use it against me and use it against me in court. And that's how I have become this person that I am so proud of today. The fact that you are sitting here and saying my kids don't deserve to have their mother. Why Why is it okay for this man to have truancy charges? Why is it okay for him to not push school on the kids? Why is it okay for him to be living in a bed bug infested house almost foreclosed on it? Everyone's okay with it. Why are Ms. you okay Ms. with it? Right. Ms. Sewell, the court, the court fully understands your position. Keep in, in tabs. If, in fact, the children are missing school, bring it to the court's attention. The court will make changes. I have. School. You have all the paperwork right now. You have all the paperwork right now. I okay. have. That's a joke you telling me that. I have. I brought all text messages, school paperwork. I have. I have absolutely brought everything. The 37 absences. I brought that, Your Honor. Green's waiting. Mr. Atkinson, do you understand the recommendation this morning? Yes, I do. Do you have any objection to the court adopting the recommendation? No, I do not. Okay, the court's going to add a couple things to this recommendation. If you could, please, Ms. Brower. Uh, number yes, one is that um, the children shall, all three children shall be in, involved in counseling, and they shall not be your counselor or therapist, Mr. Atkinson. I, not it, someone that not you are seeing. Counselor. Just understand, all three children shall be in, enrolled in counseling. They've all three got problems. 
Uh, so all three should be enrolled in counseling and they should not be your therapist or counselor. And finally, if the children miss Glocus illness, you need to take them to the doctor that day. No unexcused absences. So if they're, if they're, you take them home. Schedules uh, the appointment sick, during miss school. Miss school tonight interrupt. Mr. Axon, if these children are sick, they don't go to school, you need to take them to a doctor that day. Understood? Understood. Um, and Ms. Um, Sewell, please keep uh, tabs on the, on the records. If, in fact, they're missing school, the court's going to we'll bring them back into court, and the court wants answers as to why they're not in school. This is a joke. Right. I've been doing this for years, Your Honor. Every single year, I provide the school record. Every single year. So you're telling me to do exactly what you told me last year, which was the thing that you exactly told me the year before, which is the exact thing that you told me the year before. You've told me this every single year. Every single year, you've told me this. I've been bringing this to you every single year. Every single year, Your Honor. Well, we've got three files here, and we've been in a lot of activity, but bring them timely. Ms. Sula, I, I, I do, I apologize. Your Honor. I, it has uh, 30 again, days to, you have 30 days to file the complaint. I do, Your Honor. I do. I do. I file everything on time. I do bring it to you. I do. So you're telling me the exact same thing as you did a year ago. So what is it going to be? One more child is going to drop out? Are we going to wait till one more child gets to drop out? Bring because this could have been prevented. This you, absolutely could have been prevented. The court's attention. I have I this absolutely could have been prevented. I, I'm not going to talk over you, try to talk above you, Ms. Sewell. So the court will adopt the recommendation. I will conclude this review. Do bring it to the court's attention, please. I will look at it. So please bring it to the court's attention and the court's going to amend the uh, recommendation with those. Uh, Your Honor, can I ask something else? Sure, go ahead. Um, so we have um, a thing on our court order that we are not supposed to talk about each other on social media. However, I'm not being quiet about what's being done to me at court anymore. And since the court order has never been filed, bef I mean, uh, followed before and there are no consequences. So if I start speaking out about what's being done in the care that Mr. Atkinson and I, I have already interviewed with the podcast company that wants to hear my story about what's been happening with friend of the court CPS and how I've been treated and in injustice and the fact that you're still allowing this behavior and you're giving custody to him. Am I allowed to speak about it? Or are you putting a no speak order on? On me am i allowed to tell my story or is this court allowed orders, to be aired? Sewell, if you're not sure about filing court orders then you should consult an attorney because yes you violate court orders people can be held in contempt with that okay, but why is he allowed to be held why is he allowed to disobey the court order but he is not allowed to be held in, he never gets held in contempt so why is it that i only am allowed to be held in contempt but he does not have to be held in contempt you just dismissed about 20 both parties are subject, subject to the contempt powers of this court and violate court orders. With that, uh, but you're not because you just dismiss all my court orders that he violated. So are you going to choose to violate me and not him uh, once again? I'm just saying I want to speak out. I want this podcast to be aired. I very much want my voice to be heard. I think that other people can benefit from hearing my story about the injustice that's been being caused to me. I want to speak out about my story and I want to make sure that I'm not being contempt of court again because I'm the only one that gets held in contempt of court. So I'm asking you to lift that ban on me being able to speak and me being able to speak about my story. Your request is denied. Okay, I will take my chances. Great, okay, that will conclude this hearing.